Now, politicians have to be well-versed in verbal language, of course, as well as body language. Take this famous image of Bill Clinton saying he did not have sexual relations with that woman. Bad Bill Clinton. Bad. The finger point was analyzed for years to come. Best-selling author and body language expert Michael C. Anthony is here to clue us in on what they're really saying with their bodies. What are we saying to you? Anything unusual or odd? Well, you ladies are very <laughs> calm and collective and ready. Good, good. And Jerry? Jerry might be flirting with me a little bit. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you read minds as well? No. Thank you. Really? Now, what, why? You're kidding. I'm. I'm assuming. Or. Or. No. Of course not. Oh. No, you're not. No, you're no, not. Am you're I not flirting with me. No. Am you I also doing are doing something with you're my body. You're a professional. I want to talk about the debate because okay. so, like over 20 million people watched that, yes. and I guess we saw more than what we think we saw, right? right? Yeah. And and one thing you mentioned is people who take up space. Yes. And you saw all these guys at the podium. Taking up as much space as possible. Yes, there was one candidate, I'm sure you all know, that has more charisma than anybody. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I guess, okay? And Donald Trump, but he takes up space. When he's communicating, his arms are flapping. They're and, all doing it. And so it. are most of the other candidates, uh -huh. correct? Mm -hmm. Because they know that when they're taking up space, they are authoritative, mm -hmm. they are coming across as experts. Remember when we were kids? Uh, we were into Superman, Wonder Woman, whatever. Remember the power pose that they would take? Yeah. Yes. That's right. They right. stand up, yeah. their legs are apart, they're ready for action, ready to save the world. Mm -hmm. Now, imagine what it would be like if those characters were, you know, in, in a true, position true. like right. this. But those it's, guys it's all look like they're surrendering. <laughs> I mean, they're no, it's not really <laughs> surrendering. I mean, that's one action uh, still should them as taking. No, because when if, the if palms they do this, it looks like they are in control. But yeah. Dr. Carson, though, was noted for having his palms up for the yes. majority of the night. And that is saying you're serving. Mm -hmm. uh, you're ready ah. to serve. Okay. Uh, you're open. Now, when the hands are backward like pulpit? this, you're yes. a little more internal. Mm -hmm. But when they come out this way, uh, you're telling your viewer or listener that you're open. Let's talk about uh, Trump. Uh, did you detect any nervousness in his body language? There was some cracks in his armor. Yes, uh, there was. Tell us okay. about this shot yeah. right now. Not, not just when, his hair. When, <laughs> yeah, not, yeah. not just there. When he was asked a difficult question, uh, he would go to the microphone. Mm -hmm. Okay, now these microphones, I'm sure, are built custom for the height of every candidate. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he knows where that microphone is, but when he grabbed it, that's called a self soothing gesture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Much like when we hold our mother's hand. Right. Uh, he had to grab mm -hmm. onto something to secure himself when he was asked a difficult question. One was about abortion, and he did two other times during the debate. But he's holding onto something to collect his thoughts. He's thinking to himself, okay, this was a difficult question. How am I going to handle this? Mm -hmm. I'm holding on. I need some strength here. <laughs> That was his soother. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Self-soothing gesture. What about Chris Christie and Rand Paul? They did a lot of finger pointing yes. going on. Chris Christie, I like to call the fawns. He's so cool. He <laughs> leans back. But when the finger pointing was going on, Chris Christie and Rand Paul, both of them, they are mm -hmm. shaking like this at each other. And that, when we see, when we are on the receiving end of a finger point, it brings us back to our childhood again, like we're being scolded by a parent or by a teacher. Now, when they point to the audience or to the viewer, they take that in a very negative fashion. But you can see with each other, they don't care. The, yeah. the gloves are off now, mm -hmm. and they'll reprimand each other. They're going to finger wag uh, as much as they could. Right. Rand now, what, Paul right. also was rolling his yeah. eyes. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. obvious. Yeah, he <laughs> lost <laughs> that little battle. Yeah. Rand Paul, uh, he rolled his eyes, and at the end, he looked to the floor in defeat. Okay, uh. Or to his podium in defeat. So that's pretty obvious he knew body he language. Lost that. Mm -hmm. yes. What about some of the subtle body language? Some, some subtleties that you saw and that people have learned since the Clinton debacle is with the finger point, what people do now, and this is for any speaker, anybody who is presenting, it's called the modified finger point. And you'll see this, you mm -hmm. saw this throughout the debate as well. Instead of pointing, if you want to get your point across like this, all you need to do is take your thumb, attach it to the finger, some mm -hmm. people do both, mm -hmm. and they gesture this way. Well, for the longest way. time, a lot of politicians oh. do that. Well, so do a lot of for Italians. For the longest time, <laughs> 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 That's right. I'm Italian. I could say this that. way. That's right. <laughs> like this. Asking for some spaghetti. This was the politician. For oh the long, yeah. They the used thumb. to use yes. their thumb yes. to make a point, but this now it's changed a little bit. Now considered the modified finger point is much more accepted mm -hmm. because now this can, especially when the palm is open, you're showing openness. This can almost be a comforting gesture. Right. You're just getting a point across very lightly. You know, Trump with all with all his he, Trump also chops the air. Yeah. You uh -huh. could put a bandana yeah, on does. him, and he's the karate kid. Mm -hmm. But what he's really saying when he's doing this is he's literally cutting through the nonsense, getting mm -hmm. to the point. 
You must have so much fun wherever you are because you're just constantly <laughs> analyzing people. <laughs> sometimes yes, sometimes no, okay, because it's worth... tell somebody's lying? You tell somebody's lying generally by the way their eyes are going. If somebody is looking up and to the left, they're recalling something. something. If somebody is looking up and to the right, they're constructing something. Ah. Now, of course, you need to get a baseline. Just because somebody quickly looks up and to the left or up and to the right, mm -hmm. first you need to ask them questions you already know the answer to. Right. And if but does being right-handed, left-handed make a difference? Good question, yeah. Jen. Absolutely. It, it's all the opposite if you're okay. left-handed because you're using different yeah, hemispheres exactly. of the brain. Okay. So when you're s s making a comment about something, you actually your eyes have to actually look to the part of the brain to find the answer. Interesting. So whether you're constructing, whether you're constructing or recalling. Okay. And in interrogation rooms, sometimes they'll ask a question of somebody and they'll go no, but they'll nod yes, yes. at the yes, same time. Yes. Very There's subtle. Giveaway, Absolutely. Right uh, dead giveaway. Oh, thank oh, you yes. so much. Thank you. Michael thank you. Anthony, he is the author of Body Language Secrets: How to Read Minds by Reading Bodies. All right, we'll be right back.